Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I want to talk to you a little bit about my Eastern Concord grapevine. It is now eight years old and it's time for harvesting. But before I start harvesting my grapes, I want to talk a little bit about why I have a mesh covering over this grapevine. So I'm gonna step aside so you can see how much of this grapevine has been covered. Although the Eastern Concord grape is suitable for growing in Colorado, earlier in growing this particular cultivar, I discovered that Colorado's climate and high altitude brought challenges to growing this type of cultivar. The two issues I had with this cultivar is our climate um, is very, the, the climate for Concord grapevines, excuse me, is very susceptible to leaf rust and uneven ripening. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking the covers off the grapevine. The training system I'm using on this particular grapevine is called the spur training system. And so you have your base right here, and then I have an arm going out this way and then I have an arm going out this way so this is the spur training system now the grapevine is eight years old and over time as you can see the grapevine has weighed down the wire considerably so I'm gonna have to do some maintenance and once I harvest the grapevine and once the foliage dies back and I start pruning the vine I am going to go ahead and um, uh, replace the wire. So I want to go ahead and start pruning this grapevine. Um, also, I covered the grapevine because Colorado has extremely high temperatures and because we're 5,200 feet above sea level, this particular cultivar does not do very good when the temperature gets really hot. So I have to cover it with a mesh covering. And I have no rust mites whatsoever. So this was one of the problems I had earlier. So I have been able to combat that problem. So no rust mites whatsoever. In addition, it keeps the birds, the squirrels, and the pests off your grape vine. So as you can see, I've got plenty of grapes and a lot of them have been dropping and falling because of the heat. So there are challenges growing a Concord grapevine. It is very, um, uh, they're very conducive to cool climate type um, environments. But unfortunately, you know, we're going through climate change and we experienced a drought all summer during, during 2020. And, um, but the grape vines are doing very good and I'm happy to see that I don't have a whole lot of uneven grapes, which is another issue with the Concord grapevine, especially when there's a lot of heat. And again, there's no issues with uneven ripening. So overall, I'm very, very happy with my grapevine, eight years old. I successfully have been able to keep the rust mites off. I don't have any unevening um, colors on the grapes. The only thing is, is this wire has sunken over time. And so I'm gonna to have to restructure the entire system. And again, uh, it's a spur system. So let's go ahead and start harvesting. Two other things I want to bring up that I didn't bring up earlier is you really want to pay attention to your environment to determine what can impact this cultivar. Now this cultivar is a cool season vine, but keep in mind the leaf rust is a result of rust fungus, 
which mainly occurs in warm temperatures, which is wind-borne spores. This problem typically occurs in July when the temperatures start climbing above 90 degrees. So this is the first sign of the problem. So you want to immediately remove the um, affected foliage organically sprayed with neem oil and then start covering the vine and start shading it right here. The other thing that's really important, another tip, is you want to make sure you're pruning your vines. It's okay to give it a hard pruning because pruning your vines does help stimulate growth and it also helps keep the um, foliage from being um, crowded. So if I had not um, pruned these foliage, it would have been a lot, lot thicker. I wouldn't have had any air circulation, no sun to the grapes, and then um, it would have caused a lot of problems. So now keep this in mind, look how thick this foliage is, and this uh, grapevine got pruned back really heavy. You can also see that the grapes are dropping because of the heat. So I got a lot of grapes right below here that's dropping, dropping because of the heat. So this was an unusually hot summer, 80 days of 90 degree straight, 90 degrees and above straight temperatures. This is Labor Day. Saturday was 101, yesterday was 98, today is 94. So typically, this is a cool season grapevine, but we have climate change and, and you know, I have to adjust it, adjust my um, um, growing the vine uh, along the way, but so far so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start harvesting these grapes. There's just so many, look at this. I'll just go ahead and move these back. And as you can see, quite a bit got lost down here at the bottom because of the heat. And the heat is causing these grapes to drop. I did keep the grape the grapevine watered, although they don't re require heavy watering, but it was a drought and I had to keep the grapevines watered. I have quite a bit, but the heat caused these grapes to drop. So this was an unusual year with just straight drought and heat. Ooh, it's quite a bit of grapes. I have a few more to harvest and I'll be almost through, but I'm gonna continue harvesting these grapes until I get them all. And why? Because it's supposed to be 32 degrees or, or lower tomorrow. So I won't be able to leave these grapes on the vines. So here's my harvest right here. And so I will continue harvesting. I may have to get another bowl and finish harvesting. So thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.